welcome back to my channel today i'm going to take you along and show you how i was able to collect some rainwater for my crops for my because i grow my own crops in the backyard i had to come up with a method to collect rainwater because you know using the tap water is very expensive to water your plants and your plants don't like the tap water so the rainwater is the best thing that can happen to your plants so in this video i noticed a big difference when my plants when it rains for like once a week my plants just go crazy so i had to come up with a way to collect rainwater and make my plants happy so make sure to check with your area and your guide the guideline in your area and just make sure that it's allowed for you to collect rainwater because in some states in the US it's not allowed to collect rainwater so be sure to check with your county and if you're allowed to collect rainwater go ahead and watch this video and this will be a very, a very helpful tip for you to collect your water um, so I'm going to take you along and these are the IBC totes that we got we got three of these and we got it online for a hundred dollar each so right now my husband is going ahead and cutting the drain this is the water drain from the house from the roof so he uses like a chainsaw and cuts the drain you are going to need these sprouts and they are very flexible these flexi sprouts I needed two because I was going to use on the two drain system I was going to connect it to both drains so we are going to start with this one and it's very flexible you see you can pull it a little further and it's very flexible to manipulate so what you want to do is use this flex sprout and like shove it in into the drain Into your this you're going to need a screw to hold it in place you can use any screw of your choice you're also going to need these Y connectors when you want to like connect the two IBC totes together and also need like a reducer this is like two inch IBC totes reducers I got this from Amazon I'm going to leave a link down below in the video on where I got this once I got three of them because I have three totes so you want to make a hole into the drain then you use your screw and just screw that in this helps to hold it in place as you can see I did I did put two screws and I'm going to go ahead and add one more on the other side and that's my husband doing it so I mounted the IBC totes on a higher surface so I used this palette and we mounted this on the palette to keep it high to increase the pressure and to protect it from the ground and then we adjusted the flex sprout into the container now you want to I want to put both of them side by side so I can connect them together this is me and my husband trying to make sure that it's steady on the pallets this is how they look like when we finish adjusting them now we are going to connect them together and what we need is we need a pipe and we need like this uh, connectors to connect the pipes together these are plastics and they work well they don't leak if you can find this one this one is the best but I didn't have enough of the yellow one so I'm going to use this this one maybe when I want to water so if you're using the yellow one, it's easy, you just put it in. And I'm going to leave a link down below where you can buy this. Because I had a lot of the green ones, is the ones I'm going to use. And this just helps to put connect the pipes together. 
I'm not a plumber, so I really don't know the names, but I was able to connect them together just by watching a couple of videos. I am going to also need a Y connector to connect them together. And this Y connector helps because when you want to water it, you just use the other side and just water your plants. First, we're going to put our 2 inch reducers and connect it to the tote on both sides then we're gonna connect our Y connector and then connect the other side to the to the other tooth that's how the tooth link together so that when the rain falls water can leave from one tooth to the next this is the top of the tooth you want to protect the top of the tooth because your Rainwater might be coming from your roof and the roof might be very dirty like my roof my roof my roof is uh, Close to trees. So a lot of the trees fall on it. So I had to use this kitchen Strainer this is a kitchen strainer and I just kind of attach it over there and I just put it it has like fine straining um, capabilities, so the mesh is very thin so it's gonna help to filter all the dirt from the roof or from the rainwater that comes down. This is how they look like and they are all set and ready to go. Now the rain is falling as you guys can see. It's draining into the totes like I told you guys. It's a nice rainy day and it's just draining down from the drain into the tooth and you see it collects all the dirt from the trees that are that were in the drain gutters and this is how it's being moved from one tooth to the next as you can see the water is lining up on the other side you can see it just comes to the other tooth and this is the third tooth and the water is also coming you can see a lot of dirt yeah it collected a lot of leaves from these leaves are from my gutters because they are around the trees so the trees make it look like way this is a utility pump and you can find this off Amazon I use this to water the my plants because there's not much pressure when I want to water my plants, I when I connect the holes, there is not much pressure. So I'm going to connect my holes on this side. I'm putting this attachment because I did cut my holes. So I had to look for something to attach the holes. But if you haven't cut your holes, you don't have to put this part. This transfer pump is really good. It came with this other attachment. So I'm going to attach it on one side. And you can find this pump on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link down below. After you attach this pump, you take the other end. This is my hose. I connected my hose to the other end by just clicking it in. And then I'm going to attach the other end of the pipe to the toad like I told you guys since I really don't need the whole white connector I just went directly on the 2 inch and connected it so using the the head I am going to go ahead and connect the machine to the toad I'm not a plumber but I think I might need like a plumbing tape to be able to like prevent it from leaking I'm going to do that next time so it's connected to the machine as you can see all you want to do is plug it in with an if you can find an electric cord and you plug it in and you test it to make sure it's working as you can see that machine does a great job Apart from the noise that it makes, 
so rain water is very good see I can water my plants and my plants are looking all fresh rain water is very good because it contains oxygen rain water also reduces the soil and it helps to release micronutrients such as zinc manganese copper and iron which are very essential for plant growth you can also use this um, if you want to do it manually you don't want to buy the pump just collect some of the water from your toad and you use like a watering can and you go ahead and you water your plants manually if you don't want to waste your electric bill you can do it manually and I encourage everyone to have a little farm in your backyard just a little garden never hurts anyone it's so satisfying and it's so relaxing doing this you can also connect um, this is like a watering system that I made last year so I'm going to connect it and you can see guys the machine was able to pump it around the whole farm the machine works amazing it had enough pressure to water my plants as you can see in the garden I can also leave a link down below on where I got these connections and I did it by myself. It has enough pressure to pump two of this watering system. So guys, this is how my tooth looks like and we have enough water to water my plants. As you can see, the tooths are all full and they are connected all the way to the roof down and the water just comes down into the tooth and the only thing I did not do was to add a oh, an overflow so when it's full I just turn the head of the sprout to the ground and it just goes down for watching guys i hope this video was very helpful to you i hope you're going to grow bigger plants i encourage everyone to grow their own crops in their backyard if you can that is very good and it's much healthier and you know where your plant is coming from so if you like this video please leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down below on what you think about this project and guys please subscribe for more projects in the backyard thank you so much for being a sweet subscriber. Bye!